Good evening, Gig Harbor and St. John's. One of the interesting things when you're leading in the church is that the services you're preparing for are always in advance of what the church is actually experiencing. Uh, when it's Lent for you, we're preparing Holy Week. When it's Holy Week for you, we're already into Easter. And never has that felt more the case than right now when we've been working with the capital campaign preparing our new additions to the building. It's really stark because no one's even in church. It's a, uh, it's a hollow shell every day. And yet last night I was on a conference call, two conference calls uh, with the architect, with the landscape architect, with engineers, and with people from the St. John's Committee. And we were hashing out the details for our new church, thinking about the kitchenette and the narthex, and who's going to use it and how are they going to use it. And there was something really encouraging about it all to say, here we are in the midst of this pandemic when everything's frozen. And we're planning not just for what comes at the end of the pandemic, but how are we preparing a church for years from now? That the space that we're designing is for people who we don't even know yet, who are going to join St. John's, who are going to experience the love of God, who are going to start being ushers in our new narthex and volunteering to serve coffee from the new kitchenette. And it's just this picture that life continues and that we're working on it right now with confidence that will come. There's also a gratitude for all of you who've already contributed to the campaign because it means the money is in the bank in order to employ these people. Uh, our architects had a lot of people back out on them or stop projects, but we were able to keep going because of you. And St. John's will keep going for generations to come because of you. And I'm so grateful to be able to live in such a way that we know that the Spirit of God will never depart from us, that the love of God will never depart from us, that the worship of Christ will carry on for generation to generation. This is our confidence today and forever. So let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our Heavenly Father, Father, we have sinned against you and through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 134 Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Good night, Kate Harbor. <laughs>